What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and tonight we're at it again with another video. So tonight's video we are actually going to be turning on motion sense on the Pixel 4 XL. I'm very excited to try this out because not only are we going to show how this works and try to make it work, but we're going to see how it goes against all the reviews. So if you've been following the Pixel 4 XL, you've probably heard that the reviews are pretty much that it might not be all that reliable. So I wanted to take a dive into this and see if that's actually true. So I'm gonna be turning it on tonight and just kind of going into it a little bit. Now, as the work week goes on, I'm gonna be trying this more and more. So I can't wait to see what I find out. Now, if you've been following the channel, you'll know that my last video was about the Pixel 4 XL's battery. Now, we did a video about the battery on the Pixel 4 XL, but that was with factory settings. So now we're gonna actually turn on motion sense and maybe some other things and see how that really takes a toll on the battery. Now before we go ahead and get started I do want to say the channel is called Pixels Crack so what we're doing here is we're doing a lot of in-depth videos about the Pixel 4 XL. So if you need time to catch up I'm going to post a link in the corner of this video so you can click on that playlist and see the videos that we've already made as well as future videos that are going to be added to it as we move along. So with that being said let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so here we are with my Pixel 4 XL and we're on my home screen here and we're gonna go ahead and pull down on this drop down menu here and click on the setting gear right there. Now we're going to be looking for motion sense and we're gonna scroll all the way down. That's going to be in system and we're gonna click on that. Now you'll see we have motion sense right here and we can go ahead and tap on that. And now we have a slider here. We're just gonna click on that and that's going to turn motion sense on. Now if we look at the field below, we'll have quick gestures, we can skip songs, and we can silence interruptions. Let's go ahead and click on skip songs. So we could skip to the next or previous song, and we could swipe right to left for next song. So let's go ahead and try this out. Okay, so here we are with the Pixel 4 XL, and we're gonna try out motion sense here. Now, the way we're gonna try this is by actually changing songs, and that's by waving our hand over the phone. Now, this took me a little bit of practice to find the technique, but if you actually go to the motion sense settings, you can see that they're doing it with their hand like this, and they're waving over like that. So it's kind of like a windshield wiper. That's what I would call the motion. So we're gonna try this out. We're gonna to try to change songs here. And then we're gonna to try to go the other way. No. So this is something that's gonna take a little time to learn. Okay, so here we are from another angle and we're gonna try motion sense again. So I'm gonna tap the play button and we're gonna to try to change songs with the hand. So here goes. And now we're gonna to try to go the other way. And we'll try the other way one more time. Or two more times. So you can see this actually does work pretty good once you get it down. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna have here is we can actually stop an alarm or we can snooze it. And that's done basically the same way here. We're gonna just wave our hand over now I'm gonna try to set an alarm and we'll see how this works. So here we are and I'm actually gonna try this with a timer. So we're gonna hit play and then hopefully when this is done, I can actually silence it by swiping. So we're gonna give this a try when it goes off. Okay, it's going off. Okay, so here we are again and we're gonna go through a few more things because there isn't really anything else but what you see here. You can't swipe up or down on anything else. We have the ambient display, show display when nearby. I don't have that triggered and I think we're gonna have to come back to that because I think I have to change additional settings. We have reach to check phone and that is turned on. So you can see that that hand is reaching like that and then it should be triggered. Okay, so here we are with the phone, and we're going to try this out. I'm just going to reach for it as though I'm grabbing it, and you can see those radars are triggered. So that works pretty easy as well. Okay, so here we are, and we only have one more option left, and that's ambient display. 
Now we can't switch that toggle on because always on display is off and we're gonna fix that right now. So we're gonna back out of here a few times and then we're gonna navigate all the way up to display. And this is kind of hard to find. It's actually in advanced. So we're gonna click on that and then we're gonna scroll all the way down. And you can see here we have lock screen display. Don't show notifications at all. We're gonna click on that and then you see we have always on. So we're gonna tap that and that should basically be what gets this working. So we're gonna back out here a few times and then we're gonna scroll back down. We're gonna go in the system. We're gonna to go to motion sense and then this should show display when nearby. So I gotta say, I really like motion sense. I think there's definitely a learning curve here, but I think it could be pretty useful. It seems like you can do it quicker or you can do it slower. I'll have to play with this some more. So I want to enable this just to show people that it actually does work. You just have to take your time learning it. I also wanted to enable it because I want to see how it's going to affect my battery for the next week here. Now I would think that if you turn on battery saver on the Pixel 4 XL, it's going to turn all this stuff off and save battery. So that might be an option too if I find that my battery is running out faster. So that is pretty much it for this video today. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, make sure to leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, you can support the channel in three different ways. The first way, you can share this video with someone who might find it useful. The next way you can support the channel is by heading over to my Amazon storefront. And that's where I list items from Amazon that I either have bought or am very interested in buying. Now, if you do buy any of those items that are on the list that I have created, they do help support the channel. The last way you can support the channel is just by hitting that subscribe button. Now, liking and subscribing are very important because that's your way to vote on if the channel is good or not. And it'll help other people decide if the content that we create here is worth watching. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon, check in out.